Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this one, I'm just going to cover FXCM. Okay, as you can see, client first trader driven. They're obviously a trading broker. And if you just go over to their trading section at the top left, it tells you the ways to trade and you can get a good idea, therefore, of the, the things they offer. So they offer CFD trading, um, Forex trading, professional client trading, corporate client trading, okay, different platforms, trading station, trading view which obviously um, I'm on a lot, MT4, all sorts of different things. So we're going to cover the ways to trade and the validity of them. If we start off on their home page, you can see they've got new lower spreads up to 54% less on trading costs. So they're obviously trying to stamp themselves as a broker that provides value. And that is very competitive. So that rating 54% less um, is competitive in the market. Um, you'll get zero commissions and you'll have lower spreads. Okay, so obviously over the long term, if you keep trading with lots of entries and exits, you're going to find that you get much better value. Okay, customer support is quite reliable as well. So if you do have a query or something you need solved, you're not going to be sitting there for years waiting for someone to reply, which is always very helpful because it can be really frustrating, especially if it's dealing with money, um, if that occurs. Uh, so you've got a couple of things here. Obviously, they've got paper trading demo accounts, which you can use 50,000 of virtual money. I wouldn't start with anything unrealistic. Okay, maybe five or 10,000 demo wise. Trading view integration, lots of people use FXCM via trading view. Um, that is something you'll notice more and more as brokers start to integrate on there. A lot of the top ones have Pepperstone um, places like uh, capital.com. Uh, they're all on there now. So it's good. It's sort of a good stamp to have them on TradingView. Trading Station, I know a lot of people use as well as a platform. Not my preferred um, measure, but you can do that if you want. Uh, they've got 442 reviews on Trustpilot, 4.5 out of 5. So not a massive amount, not enormous. Okay, but it does say, all right, perhaps they are reasonably good. Just make sure you read their risk disclaimer. They've got it at the top. And they've got one at the bottom as well, which I'll go over shortly. So if you scroll down slightly, um, it's going to tell you um, about their all their different instruments you can trade, pretty much. You can see I've got the euro dollar here. Okay, it's telling you the change in percent and the one year range, not particularly necessary. The only thing you really want to know is what the spreads are like, swaps, um, etc and uh, what you can trade. So they offer shares, okay, like most brokers, various shares you can trade. Okay, I don't think the list is as extensive actually as a lot of other brokers. So just be wary of that. If you're trading shares, it's probably not for you, this broker. If you're interested in FX commodities or indices, they're quite standard. Um, you can see they've got various markets. Again, a little bit short on the ones you can view here. There might be more that you can trade. You'll just have to check on the market side. Okay. Um, so if I click indices, for example, it may tell you a bit more about what you can trade. Uh, generally, okay, it, it does seem like that's just the list. So again, if you're an indices trader and you want to trade more um, lesser traded indices, if you like, it might not be for you FXCM either. Um, but you've got all the things you can normally trade. You can get short. OK, transaction costs low, um, no commission fees, as it says. That's also quite handy. Um, you can start small like you could really in most places. So I would say FXCM is probably for Forex traders um, rather than uh, indices or stocks and things like that, just because they don't have as many. Um, it's got pretty much standard here. Leverage, you can get really high. So that is ideal for people who want to trade lots of pairs. Perhaps you're a very active scalp slash day trader. 24-5 um, market anyway, most places. Um, and you can get in and out uh, if you're trading larger sizes. So FXCM, I would say, is definitely Forex broker. Um, if I scroll down, you can see there's various pairs they trade on here, which is mostly what people trade anyway. A little bit of information about Forex trading as you scroll down. Uh, once you get to the bottom, it just tells you about platforms. Not a huge amount, but I would say you only really need MT4 or TradingView anyway. Um, and as I said, if you go to the bottom, you've got the risk disclaimer. So that's really good as well um, to have that risk disclaimer. And they're regulated by the FCA 
in my jurisdiction, England. Okay, so just make sure wherever you're trading from, you know, they've got validity. Um, you always want to be able to uh, um, be able to complain if there's a problem and have someone backing you in your corner. Um, if you go about FXCM, it will tell you a little bit about them, okay, where they are, what they do, um, and a little bit of history. Not that it's so important to everyone, really. Uh, because they'll say mostly what other people do, you know, customers first, integrity, etc. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that concludes it. I would say basically FXCM is more for Forex traders. They're competitive on their rates, which is quite good. Commission free as well. OK, they'll probably charge you in other ways. OK, just, you know, spread ways, swap ways. You can also spread bet like I do in the UK. It's tax free. OK, so. Always make sure you understand the risks of trading. Read the disclaimer on this site. Um, and if you're someone who follows me on TradingView, remember you can also integrate, which is quite handy at the moment. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps. And I'll see you in the next video. See you there.